Coach, the team started the season 6-0. and How do you keep the momentum going? Yeah, to start 6-0, and you know, I'm very proud of the guys, very proud of the organization, uh, front office, interns, everybody that's, you know, worked their butts off to get to 6-0. and But, you know, there's no trophies for 6-0. and uh, You know, there's no banners that are going to be hung for 6-0. and Even though we're very proud of the accomplishment of being 6-0, and we have to establish, uh, you know, more of a mental toughness and a mental, uh, you know, tough-minded situation. We're, we're trying to go 7-0, we're trying to go 8-0, we're trying to go 9-0, and but it's one game at a time. And so it's my job to keep the team focused. It's my job not to overlook every uh, team that we face. It's my job just because we played Arizona at 5-0 and doesn't mean that Tampa is any less worse than Arizona at 0-5. I mean, Tampa can easily beat us. It's a war on I-4. So the biggest thing that we want to do as, as coaching staff is keep the guys focused, keep them grounded, a lot of humility, a lot of humbleness uh, behind this, and just keep working because the ultimate goal is a championship. 6-0 uh, and just happens to be part of that. What do you need to do this week to get a win against Tampa? We got to respect them. I mean, uh, you know, to get a win versus Tampa, you have to respect them. Look, this is the war on I-4. There's nine former Tampa Bay Storm members that used to be Orlando Predators. I mean, when you say nine people used to be on this side of the ball, they want to beat us. Uh, they want to prove to us that uh, it was, uh, you know, our miscalculation that they're not here. Uh, they want to prove to us that we are wrong in our evaluation process. And at the end of the day, it's a, it's a big game for them. Uh, you know, it's an hour away. They're going to have a lot of fans here, even in the Amway Center. They're going to be probably wearing blue, uh, you know, cheering for their team. So they want to get back on track. They want to write the ship. I know their coaches have a lot to prove. And what better to knock off a team that's 6-0. and So uh, this could be a total trap game for us so to, to, to play the best we possibly can is ultimately respect them and, and in the process uh, make sure that we're doing everything to, to get this victory no matter what it takes. Friday's game is blackout night. What do you want to see from the fans? I love it that it's blackout night. You know, I want the fans all black. I mean, the players are going to be wearing all black. I want every single person in the stands wearing all black. I think that's pretty cool. You know, turn the lights off so we can't see anybody. And then when you turn them back on, everybody's wearing all, all black. It's, it's, a, it's a show of uh, solidarity. Uh, it's a show of unionship. Uh, we want our players and our, and our fans looking alike. We want everybody in all black. So, yeah, I want the fans to be rowdy. It's a Friday night game. It's versus Tampa Bay. It's the Warren I-4. This is a big game. You're only as good as your last game. So we need the fans. They can't just show up to you know teams that are six and zero. They got to show up to everybody. Uh, and so the fact that uh, Tampa Bay is a is a big rival, I want the fans to be in there and rocking and, and yelling. And you know we are winning these ball games because our fans are so loud. They're helping us when we're on defense. They're smart and quiet when we're on offense. So ultimately, uh, it takes everybody. It's a, it it takes a village to raise the championship. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this week. Okay.